Welcome to I Question PH. Our today's question is How to change an improper fraction into a mixed number? An improper fraction is a fraction whose numerator is greater than or equal to its denominator. While a mixed number is formed by a whole number and a proper fraction. To change an improper fraction into a mixed number, we will divide the numerator by the denominator. The quotient becomes the whole number. The remainder becomes the numerator and then we will use the same denominator. Let's study this example. This fraction is 7 fourths. This is an improper fraction and now we will change it to mixed number. The numerator is 7 and the denominator is 4. Now we will divide 7 by 4. So the numerator becomes the dividend, the denominator, the divisor. Let's now start dividing. How many times will 4 go into 7? The answer is only 1. So we will write 1 above the quotient line and then we will multiply the answer and the divisor which is 4. 1 times 4 is 4. We write 4 under 7. The next process is subtraction. 7 minus 4, the answer is 3. In this case, the 3 here is already the remainder. So it means our quotient, which is 1, becomes the whole number. Our remainder, which is 3, becomes our numerator. And 4, which is our denominator, in the improper fraction, remains our denominator in the mixed number. Therefore, 7 fourths when changed to mixed number is 1 and 3 fourths. Let us study another example. Change 8 thirds into a mixed number. We will do the same process. Divide 8 by 3. So 8 divided by 3, the answer is 2. And then let's continue the process. 2 times 3 is 6. Then 8 minus 6 is 2. 2 here is already our remainder. So that means that our whole number is the 2 in the quotient line. And our numerator is the 2 in our remainder. And the denominator is the same, digit 3. Therefore, 
8 thirds when changed to mixed number is 2 and 2 thirds. And that was how we change improper fraction into a mixed number. Again, we divide the numerator by the denominator. The quotient becomes the whole number, the remainder becomes the numerator, and then we use the same denominator. That's all for today. Thank you for watching. Please don't forget to like and subscribe. Till next time!